There's another freaking chapter down. God, we're flying. This way. I love King's Landing in the afternoon. The sun just barely kisses your skin. You used to love this place. Remember, we'd come listen to the musicians in the evening with Lady Marjorie? You're right. It's beautiful here. Just through here. What are you doing? You'll see. Queen Cersei's finest wine. You're going to get us both in trouble. Relax. Nobody will miss it, I assure you. Oh, dear Lord. A little won't hurt. It's just wine. I refuse it. Suit yourself then. So, I, uh. You're gonna get drunk, woman. Well, I just. What? I'm not very good at this sort of thing. Apparently. Come on. Listen, if I tell you this, Mira, you must promise to keep it to yourself. You can tell no one. I want to trust you, but sure, I'll keep a I promise. I need you to promise. Blah, blah, blah. I swear, I won't tell a soul. My mother was a handmaiden to Lady Elena for many years. Okay. She became pregnant. It was a disgrace to her family. My true name is Sarah. Flowers. You're a bastard? Yes. Ooh. I'm fortunate to be where I am. I know that. But to always have to hide. Was your mother from a noble house? She must have been. To serve Lady Elena. Yes, though it's not well known. Distant cousins of the Tyrells, I'm told. Mm. They wanted nothing to do with me after my mother died. Who else knows about this? Lady Marjorie. Her grandmother. And now you. It's just... I don't want to be Sarah Flowers forever. I need Lady Marjorie to arrange a marriage for me. It's my chance at a life. A family of my own. Have you tried asking Lady Marjorie? It's not something I can simply ask for. Oh, you could. I need her favor first. I know she often confides in you, and I was hoping that maybe... Sometime when she comes to you wanting to talk, you might... Suggest she talk to me instead. Give me a chance to win her over. Coming from you, it's sure to mean a lot. Please, Mira. I'm gonna stay silent. I understand if you can't commit to anything. I know your family's troubles are much greater than mine. With what happened to your brother and your father. You sure you won't have any? You look like you could use a drink. I'm still gonna refuse. Hmm. A conspiracy of handmaidens. Lord Tyrion. My lord. Ladies. What have we here? If you mean to drink from that flagon, you're going about it the wrong way. Care to join us, Lord Tyrion? Hmm. Not the finest arbor red, but a favorite of my sister's. Quite expensive for a handmaiden. I'd be curious to know how you got hold of it. Since I'm certain my sister didn't give it to you, she won't even share with me. Oh, uh, we found it. We found it. Found it? Where? In that bush. Lord Tyrion. 
Strange it should find its way into a bush. If Cersei knew you had this wine, she'd drown you in it. You must know what risks are worth taking. Exactly. Especially if you wish to have an alliance with me. Things have changed. My father has recently taken an interest in Ironwood. Most of the Royal Navy went up in green flames. It must be rebuilt. He insisted I handle things myself. I'm on my way to meet representatives of Lord Whitehill. Lord Whitehill? He's hired a pair of merchant lords to broker for his house. It would seem Lord Whitehill wishes to sell the Ironwood right out from beneath your family. I don't know much about the man, but judging by his up-jumped sellswords, negotiating with him won't be pleasant. I will speak for House Forrester. Perhaps you could. Come with me. These men think I have no choice but to deal with them. Imagine their surprise when I bring a forester to the table. It might be the first fun I've had in months. <laughs> My lady. Let's do it. We've been waiting here for an hour. Andros, be courteous. Courtesy in a merchant. Like finding gold in your chamber pot. Apologies, my lady. Who is this? Some girl you've brought for entertainment? She's a lady, Lord Andros. My name is Mira Forrester. Mira Forrester? Why are you here? A fair question. We were told we would be speaking to Lord Tyrion alone. Perhaps you should ask Lord Tyrion. I asked you. Andros. She's here for the same reason you are. Ironwood. I'm sorry, Lady Mira, but we've already spoken to Lord you Tyrion. You spoke, I listened. Lady Mira has since persuaded me to consider her offer first. Now, if you'll excuse us. You're going to dismiss? You can't do this. <laughs> I assure you, I can. This is a mistake, Love my Darian. lord. I don't think so. Lord Whitehill will hear of this. No fucking He's not a man to take such matters lightly. Nor am I. That's enough, Andros. There's no need to make threats. You have no idea. Lord Tyrion. Lord Tyrion. Do let me know when you've come to a decision. I'd like the opportunity to change your mind. Lady Mira. Good day, gentlemen. Ah, well, that was fun. Now, as for your offer, what did you have in mind? My lord? The Crown's Ironwood. I assume you have a proposition? You had a reason for coming here. I know it wasn't just to entertain me. I'm sure you already have a proposal in mind. Say the Crown agrees to buy Ironwood solely from you. Lord Whitehill will be left in the cold. If he wishes to sell to the Crown, he'll have to do so through your family. You will have him at your mercy. Or you'll bring your houses to open war. You do know that's a possibility, don't you? If war comes, I know we will win. You have no shortage of confidence. I'll consider the arrangement. Of course, you'd have to do something for me in return. Don't worry. The terms will be fair. I need more than that. I'll have an answer for you soon enough. We have an understanding then. Thank you, my lord. This will either be very good for both of us, or very bad for you. 
for your sake. I hope it's the former. My lady. Another chapter down. Where are we at? Okay, we're back with you. Headshot! They were headed for the main gate. I know another way. You're coming with us then. If you're to save your house, you'll need more than the two of us at your side. You'll need an army. That's why you're here, isn't it? To hire one. An army of cell sorts. And a man to lead them. Do you hear what I'm saying, boy? I can lead an army. There you can. I know you can. I've always known it. Your father was blind to that. None of that matters without cell swords to hire. And all the companies around here are engaged. What about Croft? One-eyed Croft, with the second sons. They're all with the Targaryen girl now. But Croft owes me a favor. I'm pretty sure he hates you, actually. No. He'll help us. I'll make sure of it. And how are you going to do that? He didn't part on the best of terms. I'll be charming. Right. I love the whole I don't care attitude that I'm going with us as a guy. How to speak well, charm? This mother of dragons and her cell swords are headed north, so we make for Marine. Wait, Marine? Shit. What? Unfinished business there. I don't want to talk about it. We can't afford any distractions. It's not your problem. It'll be fine. I promise. Besky, you don't have to come. You could head to Astapor or even Karth. No, I'm coming. That's what she said. I can't handle. Fonte Renas! Un kai hinu josi botagon kostoti daor. Just one more we'll have to kill later. Let's go. You did well back there, Asher. You acted like a true leader. You two can talk about it later. We need to get out of here. They won't stop looking for us. It's a long journey to Marine on foot. I hope you're ready, Asher. It won't be easy. Let's just get that army. I'm ready. Good lad. Either we cross the narrow sea with an army at our backs, or House Forrester will not survive to see winter. <sighs> I think. Oh my god, there's another one! At least we're getting easy achievements. It's 
It's probably the coal boy. Just open. It's probably the coal boy. Uh, let's look at the chest, it looks opened. Everything's still here. Yeah. The desk. The letters from my family. What would someone want with them? Alright, let's read the note. I have information that will aid you with the imp. Meet me in the gardens at midnight. Okay. 